Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today is uh, Thursday, the 16th of November, 2023. It's been about two weeks since I gave my last update on the laser cut part situations with Vans Aircraft and how it affects builders like me. And during that time, no work has been done here in the workshop. I've been too busy attending to other things that are important and too unmotivated to start drilling out a few hundred rivets to disassemble my empennage. Well, hmm. Let's find out what that actually means today. There's a service letter that was published. Um, I'll go ahead and read it here. Um, this is dated November 11th, just a few days ago. And uh, this, this puts a lot of builders with laser cut parts uh, at a crossroads, I would say. The synopsis, uh, the FAA issued an email notification to its inspectors related to certification of RV aircraft containing laser cut parts and quote, critical structures. These parts are classified as replacement recommended in the laser cut parts list as published by Vans Aircraft. Laser cut parts were produced by Vans Aircraft, uh, for Vans Aircraft by an outside supplier between January 22 and June of 23. We have many of them, I have many of them. All testing to date has shown that there is no immediate airworthiness concern for aircraft with laser cut parts. I'll read that line again. All testing to date has shown that there is no immediate airworthiness concern for aircraft with laser cut parts. In addition, there is no immediate need to replace laser cut parts that are already installed in an aircraft prior to inspection for certification. Uh, Vans Aircraft has conducted an analysis of the airworthiness and service life of these parts. A summary of, the, uh, of this investigation, laser cut parts engineering evaluation, is available on the Vans Aircraft website. And of course, I'll link that in the description below. Uh, and then it goes on to say a little bit about how Vans Aircraft is in the process of planning its parts replacement program, and they'll release uh, further information in the future. But Aircraft with replacement recommended laser cut parts may continue to be certified and operated. So what does that mean? Well, I mean, I think that what it means is pretty obvious, but what does it mean to each individual builder? Everybody's going to have a different way of dealing with this. I was about to tear into my empennage and completely disassemble it. And there's a high probability that I would do a lot of other damage along the way. And a part of the uh, equation for me was, does it just make more sense to build an entirely new empennage um, rather than spending a couple hundred hours, maybe a hundred hours, completely disassembling it and then re reassembling it, uh, parts that have already previously been riveted and now riveted again. I know that that's part of the world of uh, aviation maintenance and it happens all the time, but I'm an amateur. And now this letter comes out saying that the FAA is telling their inspectors, you know what, we've seen the research and as a reminder, Vans didn't do their own research exclusively. Vans did their research and they also hired a third party unaffiliated engineering firm to do research separately. So we could be sure that there is an unbiased, uh, an, an unbiased researcher in the room. The results found that um, while the service life of these parts is normal than no, shorter than normally uh, produced parts, they still lasted several thousand hours longer than the expected normal useful life of the aircraft. They still created a list of parts that they labeled as replacement recommended because of the, the uh, structural criticality of those particular parts. Now, after reviewing all of that, um, the FAA has said, hey, inspectors, they're fine. You guys can go ahead and certify these. There's no immediate airworthiness concern. If you dig it a little bit deeper into the, um, into the study results from Vans, I'll put a link to that obviously down below. Please read it. It's not very long, but it is very informative. Um, what they found is if, if cracks were to develop on any of these, um, any of these defective parts, it would take them so long to develop that if they were just inspected annually when you're doing your condition inspection or annual inspection, depending on if you're the builder or not, um, 
they would be able to be spotted and caught. So even an annual inspection of those parts would be adequate to um, stave off any threat that this might um, pose. So here are my thoughts right now. I've got that thing assembled. I know that I have laser cut parts in there. I don't know that if I have any cracked dimples in there, but I'll inspect it and I can. Um, what they're saying here is though, even, even if a part were to have a cracked dimple, it still doesn't pose an immediate airworthiness concern. As I said before, I have seen parts that were cut really, really badly with the laser, and I've seen the parts that I've received, and I didn't have any of the really bad ones. But I say that understanding that when I started this in December of last year, I may not have recognized what I later would recognize in like, you know, April through August. Um, my level of experience uh, in the beginning probably didn't provide me a good enough lens to tell what was good or bad. So <laughs> I am going to proceed, although slowly, um, the only two parts on the wings that I was potentially going to have to replace, meaning already assembled, are the two inboard most main ribs. And those are still classified in the yellow recommend, like eh, maybe if you want to recommend replace. And again, according to the service letter, we should be able to carry on, but Vans is also saying that they may uh, change that classification after a little bit more study. So I'm just gonna hold off a little bit longer. I shouldn't have to wait too much longer to do that. Um, it'll be interesting to see the broad array of builders' responses to this. I know that many, many builders uh, will probably say, I'm not going to have a single GD laser cut part in my airplane, um, either because they feel like they're just always going to have that in the back of their mind when they're flying the airplane, or uh, they're thinking about the future and the potential resale of the aircraft. So anyways, that's the update. No new news on the Vans financial crisis. Uh, they're still cloistered and doing their thing, and it will probably still be another week or two until that happens. So in the meantime... I'll continue on my merry way and, and I will resume building an aircraft. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, I promise there will be more actual building uh, videos coming up soon. Um, and very likely no disassembly videos. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being here. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.